Today we will be describing a four anchor repair of a massive subscapularis tendon tear with subcoracoid decompression. These are our disclosures. To begin, the lesser tuberosity footprint is prepared using an arthroscopic oval burr. To obtain adequate anterior access, forward flex the arm and place it in 10 to 20 degree internal rotation. An 8 mm cannula is inserted through the anterior portal and an arthroscopic grasper is used to assess subscapularis excursion. A tear comprising 70% of tendon attachment is identified at the lesser tuberosity. Sometimes these tears are quite retracted and scarred, so performing an appropriate and safe release is optimal. Adhesions are released using an arthroscopic shaver along the subscapularis to gain excursion. A radio frequency wand can also be used. The surgeon should take special care medially as innervation is supplied from the superior aspect of the muscle. A subcoracoid decompression with coracoplasty is performed using radio frequency to clear soft tissue off of the bone. Then, an arthroscopic oval burr is used to remove osteophytes from the coracoid, thus preventing future subcoracoid impingement on the subscapularis tendon. An 8 mm cannula is inserted through the anterior or an accessory portal to ensure soft tissue bridges are not formed during suture passage. A punch for a 4.75 mm swivel lock suture anchor is used to create the hole for anchor placement. The first anchor, a 4.75 mm swivel lock loaded with fiber tape, is placed at the inframedial aspect of the subscapularis tear. The surgeon should be sure to leave enough space to grab tissue once the suture is passed. Radio frequency can be used to free up the rotator interval as needed. The suture is passed through the torn subscapularis tendon with a horizontal technique using a fast pass scorpion suture passer through the anterior portal. A punch for the second anchor is made. The second 4.75 mm swivel lock anchor loaded with fiber tape is placed at the superior medial aspect of the subscapularis tear. The suture is passed using a scorpion suture passer. A punch for the first lateral row anchor is made. One tape strand from each medial row anchor is passed through the eyelet of the swivel lock 
and the anchor is placed at the inferolateral aspect of the subscapularis footprint. Fiber tape strands for the suprolateral anchor are tied over the supromedial anchor in order to increase strength of fixation. A punch for the second lateral row anchor is made. One tape strand from each medial row anchor is passed through the eyelid of the swivel lock and the anchor is placed on the suprolateral aspect of the subscapularis footprint. The fiber tapes are cut flush to the anchor with a suture cutter. The final repair is assessed. Thank you for watching, and we hope that you found this video demonstration helpful.